Today I'm back in our inspection and calibration area to answer one of the questions I get asked a lot when I'm visiting your labs, which is, I've got a pair of calipers, why do I need micrometers? They just seem like they're more difficult to use. So let's dig in. So to start off with, you may not need a set of micrometers. In fact, the caliper is kind of the Swiss army knife in the lab or in the machine shop, which means it does a lot of functions pretty well, but none of them great. With a caliper, you can measure the outer diameter of something or the inner diameter of something. You can also measure the depth of a step using the back of the head here or the tail sticking out here. So this is a really versatile tool, but I wouldn't trust it to more than a thousandth or two, and sometimes not even that. Technique has a lot to do with it. Then we've got the micrometer, and this particular micrometer does one thing very well. It measures outside diameter, and that's it. And this one measures it from one to two inches only. So you have to buy these in one inch ranges. And there are thread micrometers, and inner diameter micrometers, and groove micrometers, and all kinds of micrometers out there. And your collection can get quite extensive as ours has. So why do you want a micrometer instead of a caliper? Well, these are significantly more accurate. These are good to the tenths of a thousandth of an inch pretty routinely. Now there is a lot of technique in that. Some of them have these ratcheting thimbles, we call it, to help you get consistent pressure on what you're measuring every time. And they're so sensitive that holding them like I am can heat them and affect the reading. So if we're doing something really sensitive, you try to minimize the time you're holding it, or you clamp it in a micrometer stand and bring the part in and inspect it if you can do that. All of these tools come in a wide variety of sizes, but the caliper covers the most ground with one instrument that you can easily carry, because once you get into big micrometers, they get a little bit absurd to try to carry a set around, though we of course have a full set here for inspection. So do you need a micrometer in your lab? If you're dealing with tight slip fits of parts, or you need to know the diameter of something, or groove width, or anything better than to about a thousandth of an inch, you probably need one. If a thousandth of an inch is good for you, then a set of calipers, maybe a six inch or an eight inch pair of calipers or a couple may do the trick. And that's what you need to know about the difference between micrometers and calipers.